And I'm back again with a new shirt. And so I finished uh, one week, basically, uh, of my new job in the deli service. Or service deli. What, whatever. Gr grocery store deli. And it's pretty much what I expected it to be. I'm uh, slicing up meat and cheese for customers. And there's a, a lot of meat and cheese, lots of different types. Uh, it's uh, kind of amazing how many types there are. Uh, uh, and then I'm also uh, preparing chicken for customers, like, like getting it ready to go into the oven and and seasoning it and and uh, uh, breading it. And so I'm dealing with raw chicken. Uh, a lot of the time, but it isn't too bad for me. And then there's also cleaning. Yeah, there's a lot of cleaning to do. I'm working the, the closing shift. Uh, that That's really all that I've done since I started. And during the closing shift, you have to clean all the dishes someone does Some, sometimes I do it and then other days another person uh, washes all the dishes which which works out with, with me so I'm not doing it so one person isn't doing it every day but this time I don't get a dishwasher like I did at my pizza job so gotta wash all the dishes by hand but one of the things that happens when i do customer service re related jobs uh, is that i'm forced to deal with people I, I have to talk to them and then sometimes have a conversation with them which I'm not good at carrying on conversations. Uh, I'm, I'm good with answering questions if I know the answers. Could you believe that construction on the way over here? I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh, I just didn't know if you guys took Route 4 to get here. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're getting at. Just having like a two-way conversation is harder for me, but now working so many customer service jobs uh, I'm, I'm like starting to change that now i've actually begun asking the customers questions mainly just like how's your day going or how are you today? Yeah. And when I'm uh, put into a situation where I'm like, uh, and when I'm put into a situation where I have to uh, uh, like talk to someone or or ask someone a question, then then I will do it. But if I can find a way out of, of uh, not doing that, then I will, will find that way to not do it. But the, the only way uh, I won't have to uh, uh, interact with customers is if there are no customers, if no one comes in. But that won't happen or if I 
get a job where I don't have to deal with customers, uh, which I would prefer. But <clears throat> right now, I don't have that job. And so I'm forced to be around people and all of the weird things that they do or the things that I don't understand why people do it. And I made a, a, another video about that stuff. But uh, there are like, some customers that, that they seem to think they know how to do your job better, even though they've never done it before. Like uh, on my last day at the gas station, there was this woman who came in to buy cigarettes, and I and I sold her them. Uh, oh, I think it was cigarettes and uh, beer. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah to them and then she looked well over the age of 21 I, I, she, she looked older than me so uh, I didn't ask her for her ID but then uh, as she was leaving she uh, just just, she said, uh, just so you know, I'm under the age of 35 and you should have asked for your ID. You should have asked for my ID. That's what she said. Which is, which the official store policy is to ID anyone who uh, looks under the age of 35. And there's some uh, signs posted to let customers know to have their ID ready. Uh, but it, it's still a judgment call by the cashier because they, they don't keep track of who you ID and who you don't. So it's really in, entirely uh, up to you, the, the cashier. But you know, I definitely I do anyone who who looks younger than me or or around my age. And and the woman she I mean if she was under twenty one then that would have been big trouble for me. But but I I could just tell by looking at her, she wasn't, so it, I didn't need to ask. And and also, what does a 35-year-old look like? And and actually, young, younger people are better at showing their ID. They, they, uh, they always seem to have the ID ready to go because they, they figured they're trying to get it ask for their ID anyway, so, so the, the people around 21 and 18 always have it ready to go. These kind, but these kind of people are uh, few and far between. The majority of people are nice and polite and and uh, e easy to talk to. I still have a hard time talking to them. I have a hard time talking to anyone, so. But I'm getting a little better. Just a little bit better. Uh, with each job. And, and the more I do it, the easier it becomes. So just gotta keep doing it. And that's going to be all for this video. And, and until next video, audios.